Hey there guys, Tony here. Um, looking at one of our earliest electrical appliances, which is the incandescent light bulb. Um, so I've got a few different types here. In fact, being a few different types apart from those two there, you can see all well, they're actually exactly the same, just different sizes. Um, we're going to start off with this here. This is actually a 1910 carbon filament bulb. Um, so, actually, incandescent light bulb, what is an incandescent light bulb? An incandescent light bulb is a resistive device, meaning it uses resistance to create heat, to create light, which is what you can see. Um, it consists of a glass envelope and a filament, which produces heat, and heats up until it's white hot, being white hot, will produce light. Um, the earliest, one of the early ones, which is, um, this is an early carbon filament lamp, it's dating from 1910s to 1920s sort of thing. Um, this is a real one. It's not like that one which is a replica. So this isn't actually a true. This is just a replica squirrel cage lamp made by Fur or what. Um, in fact, what we'll do is we'll pull that one out and we'll show you what a carbon filament bulb looks like when it's running. Okay. Look at that. If you look in the um, reflection, you can see it a lot better. So the carbon, oh, the um, incandescent light bulb was the most, the most common, most well known, um, and was the first electrical appliance. Um, you can see they're as simple as anything. So all it is is a glass, glass. Um, envelope a vacuum and a, um, in this case you can see it's a um, tungsten filament. Now the reason why they need a, tung uh, a vacuum is because the tungsten will then um, it'll vaporize and um, it'll let off a yellow smoke and burn up in the um, presence of oxygen. Um, so in their, um, in their household sizes you've got 25 to 200 watt bulbs um, 25 to 60 watts generally the same size of glass, um, just different filament sizes, and then you've got um, 200 watt bulb, which is actually the same sort of size as this 300 watt here, um, but just got smaller filament. Um, your industrial start size, which is this is an industrial size lamp, um, th these sorts of um, lamps here are mostly used in things like this. This is a, um, an incandescent floodlight. You've got the old shovel flood. Most commonly, these. Um, these high base style lamps here, and then you've got the old radio wave street lights here, which also used to use the incandescent bulbs. Um, although incandescent lamps are um, largely being phased out because they're inefficient, they take a lot of power to, um, you know, to run. So we'll fire up this 500 watt lamp here to give you an idea how bright it is. Now, you can see it's quite a bit different to this one here. There's quite a quite a lot brighter. Um, in fact, we'll have a look at an early incandescent lamp fitting up here. So that there is, pro is made from about the 20s. You can see it's got a brass lamp holder, brass switch, ceramic ceiling rose, and even a glass um, lampshade on it. I've actually installed it quite a long time ago, so you can see it's a bit dusty on top. Um, these were common fittings back in those days. In fact, you'll probably find that that may have even had carbon filament lamps in it at some stage. And I've um, restored it and it's up and running again, also it's got a modern lamp in it. Um, so that's a bit of an overlook of our um, incandescent lamps. Um, you can see with this carbon filament lamp, the, the filament itself is, you know, it's probably about as thick as a hair. It's really, really fine. Um, I don't know the history of this lamp or where it came from. Um, I was given it from a guy in town. In fact, I got two of them, but one has... Um, has had a crack and the air's got into it so I can't fire it up. This 500 watt one is as dim as anything, in fact it's very boring. How about we get something with a little bit more oomph to it. <sighs> Fuck this hot. Then grab it. I'll grab it from the base. Sorry about language. Now, that's right, incandescent lamps, they get really hot too. Oh, funny that, because they're resistive to the bike. So. So let's put in a real light bulb. Yeah. Ooh. 
That is what you call a light bulb. That makes your household light bulb look ridiculous. Right, let's fire them up. <laughs> Man, you can't believe how hot that's just got. And my eyes don't work now. And it hums too. Man. This here is actually, um, it's a 4,000 watt incandescent lamp. It was used originally on the squid boats to um, entice the squids up, you know, the squid up to, um, so they can net them. Um, I'm not too sure exactly how they used to use them. All, the, um, all as I know is I've heard stories of these washing up on the beaches. Um, don't know where this lamp actually came from, um, but I've had it for a very long time now anyway, so... Yeah, so, oh, well guys, well that's um, an overview of our incandescent light bulbs. You can see that I could actually put my head inside it, so it's quite, quite large in size. <laughs> oh, guys, we'll see you guys next time.